In this video I'm going to introduce you to my millimoles method for titration calculations. When you use this method it avoids the need to write out chemical equations and have complicated mathematics to work out. All you need to do is find out how many H pluses in the acid formula and how many OH minuses in the alkali formula. Then you just have simple calculation and you get your answer. Going to start with this question here, 25 centimetres cubed of 0.85 moles per litre potassium hydroxide neutralised by 17.8 centimetres cubed of sulfuric acid of unknown concentration. We've got to find the concentration of sulfuric acid. So straight away we look at the sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid makes sulphates, that's the way I always say to, rem to remember it. You couldn't remember the H2SO4, but if you just take the sulphates that they make, and you can see easily that there's two minuses, so you need two H pluses, and that's what we'll use for the number of H pluses. Potassium hydroxide, potassium ion, hydroxide ion, and they are balanced, so there's only one hydroxide. We're looking for the concentrated, not the acids, so we're going to deal with the acid first. So we write out milli moles of H plus, the acid ion, it has got to be equal to milli moles of OH minus. To be neutral, we've got to have the same amount of each for to neutralize. So we can just put fill in the side. First of all, I don't write just single letters. It's far easier to remember if you write out wee words. So it's uh, volume times moles per litre times the number of H pluses, which I just write as H pluses. It's got to be equal to the volume times the moles per litre for the alkali times the number of OH minuses in the formula. So all we do now is put in our values the volume for the sulfuric acid is 17.8 times the moles per litre is the unknown, so we put an X. And the number of H pluses in the sulfuric acid is 2. And that's equal to the volume for the alkali, which is 25, times the concentration of the alkali, which is nothing, 0.85 moles per litre times the number of OH minuses in the alkali, which is 1. So all we need to do is get X in its own. So to get an X in its own, we've got to divide by the 17.8 and also the 2. Remember to bracket, if you've got more than one thing on the bottom, you've got to bracket it or you get the wrong answer in the calculator. If you divide that side by that amount, to keep it balanced, we must divide the other side by the same. And all that's left now, because they're going to cancel out to leave the X. So all that's left now is just do that on the calculator. And we've got 25 times 0.85. We don't need to use the 1. Divided by, remember to open the brackets, 17.8 times 2. Close your bracket. Equals. And we've got 0 0.596. So we want to take it to two places, the 6 would round the uh, 5, 9 up, so you get 0 0.60. Three places would give you 5, 9, 7. And that's uh, your concentration, so that's moles, litre to the minus 1. And that's how easy it is to do uh, titration calculations using millimoles. The second example I'm going to show you is this one here, which asks what volume of 0.35 moles per litre sodium hydroxide is neutralised by 23.3 centimetres cubed of 0.53 moles per litre sulfuric acid. Again, we just start with the acid. So we know sulfuric makes sulphates, so it's SO4 2 minus, so we need 2 H pluses, so it's 2 for the H pluses. And we've got sodium hydroxide, Na plus, OH minus, and that's already balanced, so it's 1 OH minus. This time we're looking 
for the alkali, it's the volume of the alkali. So we're going to start off by writing millimoles of OH minus this time. It's got to be equal to millimoles of H plus. So again, use the wee words, it's far easier to, to remember. It's to do with your brain. Minus 1 times OH minuses equals volume times moles per litre times H pluses. So this time we're actually looking for the volume. So the volume is the X times the moles per litre is the concentration is 0.35 times the number of OH minuses is 1 so that's equal to the volume of the acid which is 23.3 times the moles per litre for the acid which is 0.53 times the number, it's sulfuric again so it's 2 H pluses if it was hydrochloric it'd just be 1 or nitric it's just 1 but in this case it's 2 so now all we need to do is find the X we don't need to divide by 1 because that's not going to change, so we just divide by the 0.35. Divide by the 0.35 and they'll, that'll cancel out to just leave you with x. So all we need to do again is pick the calculator up and we've got 23.3 times 0 0.53 times 2 divided by, there's only one thing in the bottom, so you don't need any brackets, nothing point three five equals, and we get 70.56, so if you want to keep it to one decimal place, then you get 70.6, uh, and that is the volume, so that's in centimetres cubed. And that's how easy it is to use. There's no complication. It's really easy to use the millimoles method. The next thing, I'll give you a couple of questions to do and you can pause the video. Press pause, attempt the questions, then press play to get the solutions. If you didn't get the same answers, then have another look at the video.